Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into high school on professional. Like I said, we went to prison, now we're going into high school. Now, uh, is this a pool door push? I never remember. So I'm coming in on this side because the breaker is on the second floor over here. Now, I don't really have much of a strategy other than kind of walking around on the first floor. I really have a better time on the first floor than I do on the second floor, as seen by the last time we were on this map. But I did look at the uh, layout, so I do understand this area now. And this is just like a big open area, and then where the gym, where the gym is, is actually just blocked off on the second floor. I want to go get the breaker turned on, but it's going to be a strange one because you got to walk around a lot on this map, and I don't have much to talk about. So let me get this breaker on. Is it going to be no? This is the bathroom, so it's going to be past the bathrooms, maybe. Oh, here it is. I think this is where the breaker was last time, because I remember this room. But I do have a smudge stick on me, and an EMF in case I guess hear something. I guess it would be better to use the thermometer, but I don't know how long it's going to take for that room to warm up. So the only thing to do now is maybe get lucky and hear a phone, but I'm just going to wander around and see if I can get a lead on where this ghost is. Well, I turned on one light. <laughs> I need to, of course, go back and see what the cursed item is. One time, when I was playing, I haven't played this game a lot in VR, but I had a ghost that was in here in VR, and I don't even know if this is where the ghost room was, because I got like an EMF on this door, and then in the end, I don't even think this was the ghost room. But, this map and this game is way different in VR. Oh, I th keep thinking I hear a door. Maybe it's the rain. I want to maybe turn on some lights. Even if, oh, even if I heard something, I don't know where it would be. Now we have the voodoo doll. That's not going to help me too much, I don't think. Well, we have the hmm, front hall open. Since I thought I heard something this way, I'm going to loop back around the other way on the first floor. You know, it's funny, I wondered if... Uh, I thought about, like, water fountains in here, and I didn't even notice that there were some in this map. Now, see, uh, this is just normal professionals, so... Some doors will be open, some doors aren't even here. But I thought I heard something around this way. Really, I should be checking rooms and seeing if there's a light on. I mean, if all the doors are closed, I gotta actually look in there. It's gonna be hard to tell if something is thrown on this map, because there's already so many things that are on the floor. Kinda like Point Hope. I wanna look in here, just because... So you can hide behind, I forget that, you know, you can hide behind pretty much any furniture that does block line of sight. So, there's a lot more dynamic ways to hide from the ghost. So like getting in here and hiding behind this desk, like, that's why they put this globe there, so you can hide right here, and then if the ghost doesn't actually roam in here and just kind of checks at the doorway, you'll be fine, which I have had happen. I survived a revenant that way. A revenant came in and like looked into the door and I was hiding behind a desk and it didn't see me and it just left. So part of me thinks I'm just going to end up draining all my sanity. I'm also kind of doing this to see how fast my sanity drains, kind of like on prison. Alright, I'm going to loop back through the gym here. You're not in here, are you? I've definitely never had a ghost in here and I'm, I'm a-okay with that. Hopefully I never have a ghost in here. Well, yeah, I definitely should have the thermometer. I'm hoping to find a light, or... You, you used to hear a phone ring all the time on this map, but I think they nerfed that. Well, this is the other way to the cafeteria. See, I keep thinking I hear a door. Maybe it is on the second floor. I forget there are exits over here, so you can actually get out. But I don't think you can get back to the truck that way. Well, I'm gonna go back to the door. That's not a light on, is it? I'm gonna go check out the second floor where I'm thinking I'm hearing these sounds. Okay, see, I think you just need to be really close to a phone. That's That was on the second floor. Okay, if, uh, if I'm quick enough, maybe I'll get to it. I don't know if I actually was hearing stuff on the second floor. Now, again with these phones, 
I don't know if you actually can hear them on the other floor. That may have been on the first floor. I, I need to... My memory says that <clears throat> they've changed it to where you can't hear phones on the other floor. So, of course, the first thing I do is run up here. But it's either in one of these rooms. I guess I should just try and see if my breath is here. I may have been actually just on the first floor. I need... That's another thing I gotta learn, though, is about these phones. I just seem to remember that... You can't hear them on the other floor, but I don't know. Let me check around. Them. Do I? Am I hearing something? Let me just walk around. I have no idea how many lights I got turned on. Maybe it's this. Maybe you open this door. Nope, this phone's not even on the hook. Alright, well, we have a general idea of where it is. So now I should get the thermometer. I guess I'm going to go out this door now. Oh, okay, see, that that is a light turned on. And there goes the EMF. Well, hey, the EMF served its purpose. So is this the phone you were calling? Okay, so I do think that's the case, where you can no longer hear a phone if it's on another floor. They really nerfed how you could hear the phones on this map. So, of course, the first thing I do is run to the second floor. All right, well, I don't have much to do with you in here. That's why I kind of... I kind of wanted to, to just find the ghost first. So now I'm gonna get out of here and bring some equipment. Now I did have my headlight on me, so... Ooh, that's one nice thing. You know, I haven't played these big maps enough to really get a feel for how hard it is to find the ghost. I'm getting lucky that it's all always on the first floor whenever I play high school. I feel like if you just got rid of the second floor, this map would be a lot better, but... I really feel like it's probably better off as a large map if you just keep the second floor. And since we're back here, again, Sanity's really good even though I spent a lot of time in the dark. Now, uh, as for these, I think I'm going to wait. I'm actually even going to wait on photos. I want to get some evidence in there first, just to see what this ghost is. And the good news is I still actually already have a smudge in there. Oh god, game, please don't crash. This game seems to have weird lag spikes every once in a while. Let's see, did I turn on the light to the second floor? I guess I did. Yeah, I went up there for a second. <laughs> Well, once again, I guess I'm going to be using my hiding spot down in the library. Okay, definitely insta-cold breath. Where can I put this book? Maybe I'll just put it on this desk. That looks pretty fitting. And then... Hmm. I never put it on the wall. But I feel like I really need that tier 3 one. Let's just put it there for now. And then, of course, turn off everything light-wise. Now, we're going to get that instant ghost orb. Give us a sign. I don't even remember your name. I think it was Harold. Wait, whoa. Well, there goes the breaker, I guess. Now, I don't see any ghost orbs this whole time. It is still freezing in here. So, do I go get the breaker on? I don't have much to do. Let's actually... Maybe put this here near the book. And since the camera is looking at it, I'm going to go turn the breaker on, get even more equipment, and then when I go back to the truck, I'm gonna watch a bit. I wish I could, like, set this up and see if it gets written in, like, the old days, but I don't think I can do that. So I'm gonna go turn the breaker on, and then hopefully get out of here before it hunts. Oh, uh, I should check EMF on that. I hate that it turns the breaker off. I mean, I guess I could keep going without the breaker. Let me actually just leave first, because I'm more afraid about my sanity. I'm going to actually just go ahead and get some more equipment in here. I do have a smudge stick, so I'll let my sanity drain. Yeah, see, I don't have, like, the 25% objective. Well, since he touched the door, maybe he'll do it again, and I'll get that new spirit box, and also freezing. So now we'll get the all the evidence in there, and also... See, sanity doesn't drain too much, and this ghost isn't draining it, even though I'm nearby. So, do I go in first, turn on the breaker? I guess I will, but I don't need to lower my sanity, and I... Uh, I, I will just go ahead and take the time to get the breaker on. And maybe we will use the voodoo doll and see if we get an interaction. So since it turned off the breaker, we know it's not a gin, but since we're playing professional, I'm not even really worried about it, because we're going to get the evidence in it at some point anyway. Well, I guess it wasn't too bad to get up over here. I really do like the headlight, so it's going to be weird. Part of me thinks I'm going to like this headlamp more than the night vision goggles. Because the night vision's cool, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like this is more effective, at least on a small map. 
I know they did nerf the night vision apparently, so I've never even got to use them when they were really strong. And again, it's, this is still my first time going through the new levels. So we're finally there though. We're getting tier three equipment, <laughs> starting with this spirit box. I mean, we've had the tier three flashlight for a while now. Okay, well, no matter what, we're gonna get some evidence here. Maybe you wrote while I was gone. No, you actually didn't. Are you here? Oh, are you friendly? Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, oh, keep banging on that. I don't have a photo. I do have this. Okay, huh, I don't have my photo. Now see, hmm, banging on windows in this map is weird. Oh, I'm trying to hit space bar to stand up. So I don't see any fingerprints. And of course I could try and get the EMF on that, but mm, I didn't think about it. Ah, see, okay, God, you almost, you do give me one evidence with that. So we got Spirit Box EMF5, Ray, Spirit, or Twins? Well, I don't know. Twins range, like the interaction range, that'll be a weird one to try and get on here. Now, Wraith will be an easy test. Oh, God, whoa. Oh, and, well, is it a spirit? Yeah, it is. I remember spirit having ghost writing, so I don't even need to do this. Well, it's a spirit on high school. So I can come back and get some photos, and since uh, it will step in the salt, maybe I'll get some salt photos. Now we can focus on the objectives too. So we need a camera in here, motion sensor, and the paramic. Still the sanity's really good. I guess it's a spirit, so it's not doing something to drain my sanity like a phantom or a djinn. Well, photo of the ghost. So I guess I'm going to want to get that voodoo doll in there. But mm, I'm gonna want more smudges, so camera. I guess I'm gonna try and do this, and then motion sensor. But I only have one smudge in there, so we'll see. Let me try and get the objectives first, and then we'll see what happens with the voodoo doll. Yeah, it's really weird. I've been playing Point Hope like every week, and we're gonna be going back to Point Hope again soon. It just really seems like for some reason that map drains your sanity so much more than any other map. I really kind of think they should make Point Hope a medium map, but maybe that's just me. All right, we'll split that one. Maybe I kind of want to have the light on now. I can just stand here, I guess, for a second. I want to get this one done if I can. I wonder if doing this at lower sanity would be better. Am I hearing the dots? This is, for some reason, this brick texture over here caught my attention. I wanted to look at that. It looks pretty good. I know one day they'll probably rework this map, and I have mentioned that this is my favorite map. So, I, I think if they kept a lot of the original style, but, you know, obviously fixed some areas and made it a little more unique, like, I think the cafeteria in this map is pretty boring. Like, the original Asylum had a pretty good layout for, like, that main area, and I kind of wish they'd bring that back. I, another thing is, I figured there would be, like, multiple versions of each map. Like, in my opinion, there should be multiple high school locations that are different from each other, like there are multiple house maps. So, I don't know why they couldn't bring back, like, the original, uh, well, I'd say Sunny Meadows, but the original Asylum, and just kind of have, like, that main area, and just have it be, like, a smaller Asylum map, but I don't know. I guess you kind of already have a smaller one with Sunny Meadows restricted. Well, I was hoping for something here. I'm going to drop that for now. This ghost does not want to do anything. I don't want to waste my, oh, I don't want to waste my one smudge. Where's my camera? Okay. Let me see if I get a photo for that. <laughs> I guess I'll go over here and take this photo. Now you're banging on that window. I'm gonna try and get a photo of that, please. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Now you're over there. You banged on this window, though. That was this one. Alright, that actually gave me a three star. This is just a weird window with the blinds and everything. Then the ghost came back over here, so I just saw you walk through that. Now how am I gonna get a photo of this ghost? What am I looking for with this? So I don't know if this even covers the whole room. I'm gonna stand here for a minute. I, my sanity's not really gonna drain. I think I'm gonna get the voodoo doll in here. But I also wanna get some more smudges, so I'm gonna say screw this objective. Let's go get some more fun stuff. Okay, well again, the ghost not really doing much to me. Not one ghost event. Feels like a shade like last time, but 
I'm going to grab two of these and then we're going back in there with the voodoo doll. And we're going to see if I get killed. Oh, I heard the motion sensor going off like crazy. Alright, as I said before, I'm going to try and use this hiding spot, which is uh, always my favorite. Let me turn the light on in here. Again, every time I come in here, I have to mention, I really love this room for some reason. It just feels so unique. This this kind of room feels more like, you know, Point Hope or just kind of what they're doing with the reworks, like Sunny Meadows even, which is with all the stuff around. Not everything is interactable here, but a lot of it is. So, I don't know, I just really like how detailed this room looks and how different it is from the rest of the map. No, I don't like how this light is out here though, so you can't really see going into it. Also, oh my god, light's flashing. Let me turn this light. It is, so... Um, that's another light that's just out and makes it really dark in this section. So how am I going to do this? Okay, I, yeah, I'm definitely going to want to put a smudge out here just for safety, since I have three of them. Now again, I want to smudge away, like, by these doors, so that way I run down to that one. So maybe we'll put it right there, right in the white tissue or whatever these papers are so I can't see it. So there's the backup smudge. I'm gonna have this one smudge on me. Now do I... I'm gonna use this light again just to make it easier to turn on and off. So how are we gonna do this? If I'm holding it and I switch, oh it goes to the lighter. That's not good. See this is why we need like a proper inventory update so I can choose what I want to switch to. So if I drop it, oh god what are you doing? Now you can do a ghost event? Or did you just turn the breaker off? Yeah, you turned the whole breaker off. Okay, I guess we're doing this in the dark. No oh, man. I don't really want more photos, but let me take it. Well, hmm. Okay, photo. See, that's the real problem here. I need to have this. Right, let me use one of these desks here. Where did the old voodoo doll go? All right. Let's see what happens here. I do have the smudge on me. That's what happens. Jesus. Okay. I'm going to pull him back as far as I can. I actually don't even know where I'm at. Okay. I can uh, I can see where I'm going. Uh, I think. Uh, close the door. Does it see me? There's no way it sees me. It saw me. How did it see me? Oh my god. That smudge must not have lasted that long, or, I mean, I didn't see where I was, ah, uh, that's what I get for trying to do it in the dark. I don't know though, I mean, I needed the tier 3 smudge, but was I, was I really that far away? How did it, it must have just roamed in the same direction as me, because when I was trying to fumble, look at that, 200? I guess, I forget that it's a large map, but I guess I just, it must have roamed in the same direction as me. And then, when I was fumbling with the door, it saw me. But yeah, the only way, like, man, I was far away from that room. It must have just gone the exact same direction as I did. Alright, here, I'll go through this summary. In one of the science classrooms is number one, I guess. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.